Hey everybody, welcome back behind the bar this evening. Uh, it's been a bit since I filmed a review in the basement, my last couple that I did that are, uh, well, I guess I'm going to post these out of order. You're going to get this and then a couple more reviews of Joe and I. Um, I wanted to do a beer review tonight. Reason being, I hit 800 subscribers uh, yeah, two days ago, and I wanted to post a video to do something I was going to do at 600 subscribers. So if you want to know what that is, um, pay attention to the end of the video. <laughs> I'm going to go over a couple things um, and talk about the channel just a little bit. So uh, anyways, but I'm going to get into the beer review first, So because I'm, I'm freaking pumped for this beer. Um, my buddies... Uh, Adam and Brian um, for Buds and Suds, and I'm actually going to link a review, a link to their review of this very beer below. Um, and this is Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Aged Oro Negro. Um, this is a stout brewed with walnuts, conditioned on spices, Asian bourbon barrels, and they infuse it with uh, cacao nibs, vanilla beans, habaneros, and cinnamon sticks. So very like cinnamon sticks. So very like Mexican cakeish. Um, things like that so i am jazzed after seeing the review i love these types of stouts i freaking love them i love mexican cake i love huna i love uh barrel aged abraxas i mean i love these beers so i wanted to try this and my man chris who i know watches the channel um and i got to meet actually at morning delight day um hooked me up with this and another beer i'm gonna review i was gonna do them blind back to back because they're very similar beers except I didn't want to drink that much beer tonight, <laughs> so I'm just going to do them one at a time, um, so you'll see the next one. It's another kind of Mexican-style stout, so anyways, let's get into this one. Uh, Chris, thank you very much, and we'll see what, I, what we think, because I am, like I said, after seeing um, Brian and Adam's review, I am freaking pumped um, for this, so let's dive in. Uh, pours out pitch black. I mean, pitch, pitch, pitch black. Trying to see if I get any bleed around the edge. Maybe a little bit of ruby bleed in the edge, like you would expect, but nothing. I mean, that's a pitch black stout. Not a lot of carbonation. Huge alcohol legs. My glass is a little dirty. The dishwasher sucks. Um, not a lot of carbonation, but huge alcohol legs on that. It's definitely sticking to the side of the glass. Looks pretty fantastic in the glass. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, I love these beers, especially this time of year when it's starting to get colder. Big barrel notes, um, big bourbon notes, sweet, sticky barrel. Um, actually, it reminds me of the nose. I actually just drank Sticky Monkey on tap at a bar about an hour ago. And the nose, like on that, that nose doesn't compare to this at all. Um, but it has like that sweet bourbon, like vanilla, like toasted, like that toasted, like smoked barrel kind of thing. A little bit of tobacco from the barrel. But then it's just big spice. I mean, it's just vanilla cinnamon i'm getting that chili spice for sure big big cinnamon though i don't get a lot of like the the almonds that it talks about i don't get much of that a little bit of chocolate it actually is kind of like a like if you took bourbon county and added um if you added then like cinnamon and habanero to it it's kind of because that bourbon county is just like this fudgy beer this smells awesome. If you've ever had like a Mexican style stout, like Mexican cake or bourbon barrel of Mexican cake or like double barrel Huna, Braxis. Nose on this is awesome, guys. I can't wait to try this. Chris, thank you very much. We're going to dive in. Cheers, guys. Oh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's spicy. There's some spice to that for sure. Huge cinnamon, that habanero, like it stays on your tongue with the cinnamon. Um, as you take your first sip, you're hit with that cinnamon and pepper. And then it blends into like, and right in that are the barrel notes, the vanilla and the chocolate that are out of this beer, plus the vanilla notes and like toasted coconut from the barrel. 
um, and just kind of like that oakiness. There's an oaky element to this. Big roasted malt chocolatey note. Um, but man, those peppers <laughs> and that cinnamon are sticking around. Like it's it's there in my mouth still. Very, very reminiscent, if you've ever had it, of Bourbon Barrel Mexican Cake, which I have not done a review of on this channel, but um, I did a review with Joe out in California when we were out there a couple months. When I was out there a couple months ago, we did the 15 horizontal of Mexican Cake um, with that one. And this reminds me of that, but the cinnamon and pepper on this are a little bit more forward than the barrel is. That one was kind of reversed. The barrel was there, but you mostly, but you still got the peppers and um, spices. Man, I love these style stouts, but you have to like peppers and stuff that's a little spicy and really flavorful. Cinnamon, I mean, this explodes, guys. Insanely flavorful. Um, I say it sometimes in beers. This is one of those beers I'm not having to search for what I'm tasting. Like, not like, mm, I'm getting a smidge of this. Like, it is bam in your face. Huge notes. Yeah, huge notes. Yeah, I get that, like, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, vanilla cinnamon and then that habanero it's definitely there this is killer guys man that's really fucking good guys that's so good um i think adam and brian gave this uh 4.75 i think out of five which on my channel is gonna be right in that like 98 range um only critiques of this beer mouth feels pretty medium um it's definitely not that viscous slick uh, mouthfeel. As it warms, I'm getting that chocolate even more. I mean, big time chocolate, big time vanilla, and then the, just that finish. Like it is like right here, like this spice. Woo! So good. I feel like this is the style of beer that's kind of my thing right now. Like things, the the styles that I'm getting into. Like I want to drink more of those like spicy stouts because it's stout season. I'm gonna drink it. Fair warning, I know I do a ton of IPA reviews. I'm trying to change that up. I'm gonna do a bunch of stout reviews. I'm trying to kind of go all over the country though. I know I've been Northeast, Northeast, Northeast for a while. Um, so just of all the stuff I have recorded, there's a ton of stuff I haven't posted. I probably have 10 reviews that I've recorded that I haven't posted. Mostly like stuff you can get on the shelf right now, mostly across the country, um, killer stuff. So back to this beer though, man, this is good. As far as grade, I'm going 90. I gave Bourbon Barrel Mexican Cake a 99. This is just a smidge below that for me. Um, I like the balance of that beer, the blend of that beer, just slightly better. But this is like a 98 for me. This is a world-class freaking beer. Um, I don't think it trades for huge, huge. Like, I know Oro does. I think they make an Oro and then Barrel Aged Nora Oro, which this is Bourbon Barrel. Sick bottle art, though. Anyways, that's killer. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it there, guys. Um, as far as a grade, yeah, 98. I'm sticking right there. I already said that. <laughs> um, yeah, not much else to say about this. Chris, thank you very much. This is freaking killer. He sent me another, um, not as well known, actually, stout that we had had at morning delight day and he asked me if i wanted a bottle to do a review and i was like hells to the yeah so we're going to be doing that one next but this is a little smaller than what i felt like drinking to get my buzz on right before the presidential debate Ugh, it's gonna be terrible um but anyway so we're gonna leave a 98 out of 100 it's like the fifth time i've said that um so yeah so that's the beer um as far as the channel thank you all so very much had a lot of really interesting discussions about beer reviews on YouTube and people's views and like what's right way to do it, what's the wrong way to do it. And you know, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> um, I just, this is how I'm going to do beer reviews. There, there, there are some that are going to be longer. There's some that's going to be shorter. I'm never going to do three to four minute beer reviews because I pour my beer out on camera. You guys get my thoughts. Like that's something I'm never going to change. There's beer reviewers out there that have it poured out and ready to go by the time they start the reviews. Um, that's not me. I can do a bottle shot beforehand uh, or after a pouring or just a, a close up of the bottle and give you some effects that way. There are things I can do to make you see those things that I'm trying to incorporate. But as far as this, like this is me drinking a beer with you. <laughs> that's 
that's the way I've approached it. Many people have told me that uh, I'm one of the more relatable beer reviewers, and that's always what I'm going for. Like, I don't want to be too serious. I don't want to be a professional. I don't want to, like, I'm just drinking beers, guys. I'm going to have fun with it when I can. Um, I'm going to try and drink good beers. Like, I don't, like, people, I, well, you're always reviewing, like, really hard to get beers or New England IPAs or, like, all these things. Well, I want to drink good beer. Like, <laughs> This is what I'm drinking. Like, this is what's in my fridge. This is what I'm pulling out. This is what I don't trade for these just to do reviews. Like, these are the beers that I want to drink. So, these are what I have. So, that's what it's always going to be. Um, I don't plan on changing a whole lot. I might add some, like, more video, like, cut-ins and things like that as I'm learning iMovie more and more. Because going into this, I'd never used it before. Um, I may move to Pro Tools at some point. I may upgrade my camera to some something. Like, the, the quality may get a little better, but how... How I do these reviews is not going to change. Um, and that's just how it is. This is who I am. So <laughs> subscribe and watch and comment and have a good time with me. Or go watch other guys. That's that's how I feel about it. Um, I am shocked. I'm over 100 subscribers already. I think it's fantastic. I, I'm, I, I added like 50 subscribers in a week or like a, less than a week, which was amazing. Um, and I, I don't know how to say thank you. So... The only way that I know how um, is we're finally going to release, I'm going to start selling my glassware and my openers. The video for how to do that is going to come out in a couple days um, because I'm waiting for my boxes to get in. I'm trying to get a head start on having some of it packed up, so I'm just slapping labels on it and sending it out, if that makes sense. Um, but for right now, this is the video we're going to do it. I'm giving away a opener, which these are the best op bottle openers you can get. Um, and I'm also giving away a behind the bar glass. This one's slightly dirty because I drank out of it two days ago. Um, but it's got the flags um, with the whales on them and then behind the bar on the back side. So I'm giving away one of each of those. So here's how I'm going to do it. Anybody that comments on this, I don't care if you just tell me to fuck off, which is probably going to be all the comments now. Um, or comment on the video and let me know what you think of this beer or, or my channel, whatever you want. Um, yeah, let me know. And anybody that comments in the next 48 hours, I'm going to put into an Excel spreadsheet, randomly generate two numbers, and those two people that I pick, the first one gets first choice. Um, this is worth more, <laughs> costs a little more. Um, when I sell these, this is gonna be about 20 to 25. Glass is gonna be about 10 to 15 with shipping. Um, so, just FYI. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. So start posting. As soon as this goes up, start the clock 48 hours as soon as that's over with. And then anybody that I pick, I'm just going to message you. I'm going to message you in the public comments and saying you won. And then I'm going to private message you and try and get your information. And then I'm going to send this out probably early next week, probably on Monday. I'll be my guest because I've got shit to do the rest of the week. So probably on Monday, I'm going to ship this out um, to the winners. So that's what we're doing. And um, so really, I, I'm humbled by the people that um, watch my channel and make comments and I've gotten to know I've met a lot of really amazing people through this when I was at morning delight day I haven't really talked about that I ended up not filming a review just because I was trying to have fun with friends and didn't really want to distract from that so I apologize for that anybody that was looking forward to that my apologies but excuse me um I can't tell you it was countless numbers of people coming up to me and telling me that they watch the channel and like my reviews and sharing beer with me and I shared beer with them. It was amazing. That's why I do this. I'm just drinking beers with you guys. I'm going to tell you what I think. You can agree or disagree. I'm not right. You're not right. It's opinion. Everything we're doing is opinion. I hope everybody realizes that. It's like this fucking presidential debate. Your opinion on policies and shit's just opinion. It's not fact. Um, so, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Um, so comment. On the video below if you're not subscribed and you're watching this subscribe because if you if you comment and you're not subscribed i'm not you're not gonna win you're not contributing to the 800 so um you have to be subscribed to win um so yeah thank you guys very much that's all i can say so um 90 out of 100 on this bad boy comment below and get free shit and uh we'll see you next time so thanks for coming behind the bar guys uh thanks for the like subscribes comments everything i really greatly appreciate it cheers